HTML takes a channel made to simplify complex data science and machine learning concepts for you. On this channel, we make some really, really awesome projects. And today I am up with another one. Uh, this is related to computer vision domain. It is volume hand control. So uh, let's understand what the project is. So just imagine you can now uh, control your system's audio with the help of your hand gestures. So that sounds really fascinating, right? That's really a really awesome technology. And we are going to see the live demo for it in this video. Okay. Uh, so before, before moving ahead, uh, let's talk about uh, our data science community. Uh, here on this channel, I regularly post some of the data science and machine learning concepts, uh, MCQ, uh, which will definitely help you to clear your core concepts. Uh, every day at uh, four o'clock, I post one of uh, the uh, amazing question so that uh, it will definitely add value, value to your knowledge. Okay. So, right. Uh, so definitely you can subscribe to our channel. Uh, where you get regular postings of some awesome projects and data science terminologies. Okay, so right. Uh, so let's uh, move ahead in this uh, video. So uh, the goal of our project is to revolutionize the volume control. So uh, now we can control our computer volume with the help of hand gestures. Uh, let's look ahead. Uh, so this is the set of things which I have used in this project. Uh, the first thing is uh, the libraries which I have imported. CV2, MediaPipe, PyCore, Math and Time. Uh, so let's understand uh, which library I have used for what. Uh, so CV2, that is uh, open source computer vision library, which is a widely used library in computer vision applications. Uh, it has a very rich set of functions and algorithms uh, in order to um, uh, manipulate and work with image data. So it is widely used in image processing data. So uh, we can access uh, the Im and manipulate the image and video data in this uh, with, with the help of this library. And we can also extract features and uh, build computer vision applications. Okay, so the next library which I have used is uh, MediaPipe Google. So it is a really, really a very powerful and awesome library by which we can uh, work with uh, advanced computer vision applications without the need for writing complex uh, implementation of our code. So uh, there are some pre-built models like object detection, image classification, segmentation, gesture recognition. Okay, so we have used uh, gesture recognition for this project. Okay, so you can definitely try these uh, demos. Uh, these are really awesome ones. Okay. Okay, so the next library uh, which I've used is PyCore. That is a Python library which stands for uh, Python Core Audio Windows. Uh, it allows us uh, to work with the uh, audio devices uh, on our Windows operating system programmatically. Okay, so with PyCore, you can adjust system volumes, uh, mute or unmute, and manage audio sessions. Okay, so uh, this is developed by Andre Miras. So all thanks to him. Okay, so uh, we have used this uh, bare minimum code which is there. Okay. Uh, so writing the uh, module uh, for my uh, main file, okay, what I did is I imported that module and made a function of it called detector. And after writing the initial configuration of our height and width of our camera, uh, what I did is uh, uh, these functions are coming from the PyCore library, which I have uh, shown you in the previous slide, okay. Uh, what PyCore library does is it uh, uh, takes our system's minimum and max maximum volume. So in my system, it is between 0 to 96, okay, 0 to mi minus 96, right? So 0 is the maximum one and minus 96 is the minimum one, right, okay. So after that, uh, what I did is I, in order to uh, show the uh, uh, volume, volume bar and volume percentage, I interpolated it with the minimum and maximum volume, okay, and the length of it. So this you all will understand when I show you the live demo. Uh, so let's see the live demo. So as I run the uh, minimum hand volume uh, file, uh, so friends, you can see that how can I uh, adjust my system's volume with the help of my hand gestures. Okay, guys, uh, so I hope that you enjoyed the demonstration uh, and the project. Uh, after this, uh, I would like to uh, throw up light on some other project ideas which can be implemented uh, using this hand gesture technology. Okay, uh, one of the ideas being the music player control. Uh, so uh, the project can be made in such a way that the user can be made uh, able to uh, control the um, uh, playlist. Okay, so you can skip the tracks or even mute, unmute, or play or pause the uh, music. Okay, with the help of specific hand gestures. Uh, the other idea can be uh, to implement it in the presentation control room. Uh, like the uh, presenter can now control the moment of slides uh, with the help of uh, the hand gestures. Uh, he may be able to write also okay, on the screen with the help of his hand gestures. Uh, so there are so many ideas right from the virtual reality to the game development. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Uh, comment down your thoughts, uh, the ideas you think that can be implemented using this uh, hand gesture technology. Okay. 
so that's it for the video uh, in the next video i will be coming up with some other business use case or any other project related to machine learning and natural language processing uh, i'm also planning to make a sentiment classifier from scratch uh, using nlp uh, so uh, so please consider subscribing the channel as it takes a lot of effort in order to make uh, this video okay uh, and uh, definitely join the data science community program uh, which i'm running on my channel every day i will be posting uh, some of the questions and core concepts of machine learning and data science on my channel so uh, definitely check it out and subscribe to my channel uh, that's it for the video thanks for joining